YouTube. So yesterday I came on here remember and I told you the story of Eric somebody I forgot his damn last name now. Anyway so this fool his name is Eric Clark the video was started off Eric Clark stole a phone so today this okay last night he they gave the phone back to the bus driver but so this morning he gets on my bus and he asked me you sure you don't have any work for me I could come to your house and what's wrong with this hair I could come to your house and cut the trees around your house um yeah what kind of crack do you think I'm smoking because I'm clearly not smoking no kind you smoking because if I was smoking a kind you were smoking I would actually let you come to my house after you done stole something off the bus the day before yeah the sense of that makes what none for, as far as I can see it makes no sense for me to let you come to my house and cut a tree down so you can come back and rob my house or come back and vandalize my house or come back and try to beg out of me something you know no that's not gonna work this man this is why I'm gonna start this new type of thing on my channel called crackhead diaries that's why you get the prelude to the kiss was that song that song right there put it down crackhead is gonna be my mantra every time that I make these videos yes put it down crackhead because these people out here in Atlanta are freaking dicking crazy so tell me what you think about my new um, segments of put it down crackhead I will be coming up with new ones because every single day I meet or see somebody who does the most crackish things we call them cracky in LA we call them crackhead stories in LA then oh that was the other part of the story he tells me his wife was in the mall at the Sun Trust while she's at the Sun Trust in the mall that someone came and took her money while they're in while she's in the Sun Trust someone came and took her money and um yeah she fell down on the floor and was having a seizure and she had just took five hundred dollars out of the ATM and someone came and took her money and so that's why they can't survive for this whole month because someone took her money so what I'm trying to make him understand because I couldn't understand that was if your wife was really in the bank and took five hundred dollars out the bank and fell to the floor having a seizure I really don't think that the the security guards would have let somebody come and take her money I really don't think that the people in the bank would have let somebody come and take $500 out of her hand while she was having a seizure just another thing for crackhead a crackhead thinks that you believe the shit they come up with in their mind for the story they gonna tell you to try to beg you for money that's just a warning of a crackhead story <laughs> 